Hello, my name's Robbie and I live on this narrowboat right here and um, for those of you who just joined the channel, um, at this point in time I've been on this thing for three years now and I've travelled probably about halfway around the, the 2,000 miles of the system. This is not a normal video that I really want to make unfortunately, it's just the video I have to make to update um, everyone on what's going on so I might seem a bit, a bit down and that's because I am. Um, lots of stuff has happened to me, um, not, well, I mean just stuff getting on top of me really, lots of jobs that I know I need to do that I've just let slip because I've been making so many lovely cruising videos and exploring so much uh, and enjoying life <laughs> a bit too much and um, I think it's just all come to a head and I need to just uh, uh, sort out all these things on my to-do list. Um, but the first thing I've got to tell you about is unfortunately the last cruising video I did is the last one this year because I've lost so much foot. I've lost about three months worth of footage, um, which is about three or four vlogs, um, 800 video clips um, that I thought I'd all uploaded to the iCloud that I've just bought, but unfortunately um, three weeks wasn't enough for all that to happen and I needed a decent Wi-Fi connection and the battery of my phone to be above 50% all these things that they don't tell you until it's too late So I'm not a big fan of Apple at the moment um, Even though I have to keep continue using their equipment because it's how I make these videos. It's how it's the only way I know at the moment It's the quickest way to do it But so that out of the way, you know, I'm not even gonna talk about what I've missed Filming because it's there's no point is there because I've got no clips to show you Anyway, so now let me take you on a little tour of my boat of how it is now and I can point out a few of the stuff that has happened from summer until now. So my main problem at the moment, apart from the, the, the paint that I've got to sort out on my boat, I've got to do painting, um, is my toilet, my holding tank and my toilet because here it, so here it is, it's about two thirds the size of my bed. Um, and the problem is that it's a steel tank and it's the, the wooden um, boards still for insulation so it keeps the, the, the tank from rusting. Unfortunately it won't keep the um, these bits from rusting because they're obviously exposed and that middle one has led to that pipe becoming a problem and the vent, so that middle pipe's the vent. Um, so the vent wasn't working, the tank was filling up, it was, get, uh, it was just I don't really need to go into the details, but I will do a video of it and you'll be able to see that in full gratuitous detail <laughs> if you if you wish to do that. Uh, through here is the engine room. I've not been in here for a, well, a bit, yeah, a bit, I'm in and out here all the time, but this is how it is at the moment. It's, this is how it looks when I'm not cranking it. It's got all my stuff stored in here, mostly sort of tools and paint and stuff like that. Oh, and a, and a record player. <laughs> I probably shouldn't even have on board. What is the point? So here's my bedroom. I'd quite like to renovate that. That would be a nice job to do. Um, it's all quite damp and musty smelling, probably because of the toilet and the rust. But it's just not, I'm not enjoying it. Um, I've moved my bed actually into the lounge area um, so this is where it is at the moment and I'm trying to live around all my stuff um, which is quite difficult I'm not I'm not the tidiest person I've got to say that so this is showing you a bit of reality of what it's like this is a new idea I've come up with I'm quite proud of actually so just a place to keep my wires it's an upside down IKEA clothes peg um, clothes drying d device we call it but yeah so I've got a lot of jobs on my to-do list let's just show you that things to do this is a good way I think if you I'm, so I'm stressed out basically so one thing one good way of doing that dealing with that is to write down everything that's on your mind all your jobs you got to do uh, it's not just one page there's several <laughs> but um, yeah most of them are just jobs to do and also people to call to find out how to do th certain things because I don't really know how to to, to fix my tank I'm gonna to have to call someone you know it's not on the internet these sort of things aren't always on YouTube um, they will do once I've made a video about it but I've got to do the legwork <laughs> and it's not gonna be nice 
Um, oh, right now, so one of my jobs today is to do my laundry. So it's a beautiful day outside. I want to be out there. This is perfect autumn. Perfect. This is perfect autumn cruising weather. Um, but I'm sort of inside trying to sort out all this crap. Um, I've got my laundry I've got to do as well. Um, just the stuff that's just real life stuff that anyone has to deal with, but it gets in the way. And I'll just show you where I am. So this might surprise you. I'm moored up in a marina. It's a lovely marina. I really like it, but um, you know, and it's quite quiet. Uh, but I've not found many people who are willing to sort of give me any tips on how to do certain things. Um, and there's no, there aren't any boat mechanics around or anything like that. There's no, nothing like that. So it's not a boat yard. It's just a, a marina. I've been doing some painting here, um, trying to get some of that roof done. So most recently, I just tried to cover up. I mean, I'm not. It's the way I'm doing it. It's just, a, it's just a. It's not a professional way of doing it. It's some preparation work I've been doing there on the window. It's just a, um, a bit of an a lestoplast. It's just a bit of a plaster, really. I'm just trying to stop things from getting too too bad. But for now, the naughty lass needs a bit of love. So my idea now is actually to, for the next month, whoop, let's go back inside again, is to involve my crank it crew because they've all been so supportive and they've offered to come and actually help me. I'm trying to be independent and do everything, everything on my own but if I'm really truthful I do need other people's help and um, having to do everything on my own it just stops you from getting going with stuff but with the crank it crew's help I should be all right and um, I'll keep you updated on that one. Anyway, I don't want to depress you too much. Um, there is actually, because I've lost so much vlog content, I've been out there filming a load more as well. So I've got some love, really cool boat tours coming up for you. Um, some updates from other people associated with this channel, like Lou, you'll be able to see where she is, and all kinds of other collaborations as well. Also got a really very special trip to Hamburg in Germany coming up which um, that's cheering me up straight away just thinking about it. Um, it was a re really good trip um, and I've got lots to show you from that and you, I think you'll really enjoy it. Because although I much prefer making cruising videos, I've really got to stay in this marina now until like, over winter just so I can get everything done and um, just so I can get on with my, my day job as well. Because that's, I, don't, I know it's not important to you, but it's very important to me to help keep the money coming in and so I can afford to stay here at 60 quid a week. So um, yeah, and I'm obviously here because then I can use the facilities. <laughs> That's the bottom line. As soon as I get the holding toilet tank fixed, actually I could probably just go. Um, but something tells me this might not be a problem that's gonna be able to be fixed just like that. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me on this video. I really appreciate your support, even though this is not that enjoyable. Hopefully you found it interesting to know what I'm up to and where I am. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye.